Hello everyone. Welcome to Tea Novo Shop. So this week we are going to continue with our Valentine theme, but I have an idea of like a lava lamp look and it's going to be glowing. So this today we are going to match with pink and sheer black. So that is our plan. And let me turn this around. Connecting this. Let me show you. So this is where I started. And I'm not building the body of the lamp. I'm just doing the liquid inside. Like this. So my whole nail gonna be like that. So that's what I'm into today. Start thing. Okay, hold on. Okay, accept. So I will share my shop. Everything that I use is in www.tinovo.shop. And we ship worldwide at tinovo.shop. All right. Hello, everybody. Stand glass gel number 11. How are you today? Love to like, turn up fire. Oh, let me show you something. Let me show you something. Happy birthday to you. This is Aquarius now. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to anyone that are Aquarius. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> and many more. <laughs> oh, do you like it? Look at this, this sparkle. Uh, ombre sparkles. It is kind of cool too. I did black ombre first and then I do the sparkle all over. But she have tentacle hair. Tentacle hair. Okay, anyway, back to this. Back to this. Okay, so you're going to take stained glass gel and you're going to apply on all fingers. It's like a cool black tone. Like a mystic. Mystic slap. Okay, one or two clothes, that's up to you. You can do two, let me see. Or one, it's up to you. Hello from Ko uh, Kosha. What? Somebody from Kosha. Croatia. Hello, Cuba. Hello, everyone. We missed a whole bunch of kids. Get yeah, this too. And I already finished, oh, I haven't finished my narration, but I already finished uh, six videos to post, so that's great. Worth a uh, work a cut up. Note that this time I only apply for a day. I'm doing good. Husband. The ugly husband. Kiss. Mm -hmm. Hello, Puerto Rico. Hola, Puerto Rico. 
Yeah, I wore camo today thinking you wouldn't see me. <laughs> Hello, Cuba. Hello, Cuba. Miss Vicky. Hi, Miss Vicky. That's a beautiful color. <laughs> the mystic. Mystic. Mystical colors. The color of the abyss. Will there be a restock soon on the solid chrome bundles? Uh, no, not soon. About a couple months out because I haven't placed the order yet. I'm well aware that the gold chrome is out. <clears throat> Unfortunately, um, when I place the order with my chrome girl, I did not place the go chrome because at that point we still have a lot of go chrome and something happened to our chrome overnight. It's like there's a lot of go chrome order for some reason. So now I have to remake another order with the chrome girl. Because she already sent my shipment on its way already. Hello, Germany, Venezuela. Boy, there's a whole bunch of Hi, Germany. everywhere today. Venezuela. Oh, uh, I hope I don't <coughs> forget how to do this. Oh, I remember. Danny says it's probably the Christmas season why everybody bought Chrome. Uh, yeah. Old Chrome. Go Chrome, yeah. <coughs> Uh, for Anaheim, I'm going to make a mystery box, 20 of them, 20 pink mystery box. 20 pink mystery boxes? Yes. Hello, Maria. It's Tino Surprise. Tino Surprise. And these are lava lamp. Yes. Plus, I have um, some uh, sticker that I couldn't put on the website because it's designer sticker <clears throat> like Louis Vuitton or um, Chanel or Prada. Um, the other nail company, they can put designer sticker on, but we are very big because we are part of Cream Time. So if we put any designer on, they're going to come after us because we make millions, you know, so I cannot put it on, but I'm going to include it also in the mystery box for you. Mystery box. I have so you're gonna give them the stuff we're not gonna take a chance on selling. Right, because I couldn't put them on the website. They'll come after me. Actually, they come after Cindy. So we don't like, we don't want that. So we make sure that um, those will be included in the mystery box. You know what would be the best kind of mystery box? What's that? Nothing in it. <laughs> <laughs> Open the light. Like, be shocked. Surprise! <laughs> Do you like New Jersey? You know, we haven't found a place that we dislike. Uh-uh. I love New Jersey. I've been there uh, briefly, um, not for a class or anything. Just right over the border. Yeah, it's actually, we've just been in New York, and then we jet down to Jersey. We have a couple of friends there, a couple of friends go to show, they come from Jersey. We like Jersey. It's like New York, but not as crazy and chaotic. It's more like, it's pretty. That's what we like. Okay, so time to continue. They're, they're all wanting to know about the mystery box, how they get it and all that. Tino at said, the show, I'm bringing it to the show. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not selling online. Just a little fun for the show. Online, I prefer you to buy specific things that you're looking for. But what about Jamie? She loves us. Maria wants one too. What? See what you started? Just... Love the show and see me. That's why I said, we better leave them empty. We better, <laughs> they'll be outraged. Be like it's Not still a mystery. Not to buy things that you know what you buy. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I guess they would be curious of what Tino have in there for mm -hmm. I would be. Go to shake it, it sounds like hair. <laughs> I might might custom mix a few uh bottle pigment and put in there. I don't know. 
you want to know how to sell the hell out of some mystery boxes? Uh -huh. Put out a hundred of them, uh -huh. and then put a nail set in one of them. Oh. <laughs> They'd be like, "I'll take them all." Like the <laughs> right, right. Be like one of those. Oh my. Oh my God. Hmm. I don't know. Well, let us get gimmicky. Do you use a brush and liquid? I use a brush, and then uh, if I want to clean it up, I use alcohol to clean it off. But what happened is I want to pick up from where this left up. You see this drip right here. I want to ma match it. That's why I'm doing that. Lovely crazy says I want to learn how to make nails. Nails. Yeah, you're in the you in the right place. Absolutely right place. We teach now for you to learn. Okay. So this is a seven millimeter that I'm using. Um, the only reason why I'm not using the ten millimeter because this is pigment based nail polish. So this is not a thick gel pen. This is a gel polish right here. That's why you a short brush like seven because seven is easier to pick up thin material like um nail polish. Now, some of the drip will have hard shape, of course. It's Valentine's. So, lovely, crazy, uh, Kid Cup. Um, you always get in here and you ask questions. It's not about this design that he's doing. If you want to watch and learn, go into his profile. He has at yes. all the videos you could possibly want. But we can't distract from what he, this learning process for beginner learning process. Yes, but you don't want me to explain something that it's not the same with what I'm doing, because then later on, when they rewatch, they'd be so confused. They'd be like, what are you know, talking about? Right. Because they don't see your comment. They only see me talk. So make sure whatever I'm talking about is a little bit relevant to what I do. And then uh, after I'm done, or when I'm pausing like this. Well, he's on acrylic right now, so that's not. Oh, acrylic right, now. Right, right. Yeah. Don't ask about acrylic. And you can always DM us, and um, yeah. then we'll read your stuff and possibly educate you from that point yeah okay so one more bum right here one more bump yeah a little bumpy <laughs> filled it out first you you want to hear this so i i i, I got us some new lo-fi uh-huh and i like it's it indecent. but i forgot what i asked it for I see somebody, they asked for something real cool, like classical lo-fi. Um, it, it was something, and I was trying to get back to that. Now, um, you should know that the only reason why I use pigment base because that is my gel polish. But for this technique, you don't need pigment base for a specific uh, special effect purpose. I just use it because that's the only gel polish that I know. So if you uh, don't have pigment bay, you still can do this, which is a white gel polish of any kind. Um, if your white gel polish is not like opaque like mine, if it's watery or if it sheer is, then you can just, just use gel paint. If it's better for you, you just don't make it too thick because we're dealing with layers, so we don't want to make it too thick. Or if you have gel paint and gel polish you can mix them together to make them 50-50 uh, that way that work too but if you have my pigment base then just use my pigment base it's completely uh, opaque and to answer your question uh myrene uh no i have never done nail art and, and I, I am a firm believer, if it's not something to interest you, you shouldn't get into it. Right. Good morning, That's... Love and 313. Let me see. 
Okay, I'm gonna just put a heart it. down here. Let's go for it. Have you modeled the Tara yet? I did. Oh my god. You like done all I don't even know, you know about I this. Got down to routine. Thank you, Demon Demon Nails. Who? Was thanking me for what I do behind the scenes. Oh, that means they're watching with the cameras off. Uh. So he uses uh, a canvas lamp, it hits all the good angles. Good day, you Janelles. That is. You want me just to read some of the questions? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, is this going to be your only? live today it is tino have planned um have you guys decided on if you're gonna stop at the indian restaurant and get the lamb Polik? boy how they know how do they know oh my they're goodness so, they are so wow. thoughtful wow, they oh just... my god what a great great viewer so know everything that i gonna do mm. Hello, San Francisco. Burr. That, that just little, made me cold. I'm a little bit off kilter, a little bit. Right. Just bum my nails. So distracted today for some reason. This works. Very distracted today. Get mm -hmm. this. He is using the seven millimeter brush. Yeah, seven millimeters. Well, he prefers acrylic over poly gel. And I got a feeling he don't, after the clay dough, I don't think he likes acrylic anymore. After the clay dough, bye bye acrylic, see you later. <laughs> clay dough is the best thing that ever happened in my life for 3Ds, besides silicone. I like silicone for the fact that it don't break. But husband. clay dough are so detailed, it gives me freedom to everything I do. Kaido is my best friend forever.
<laughs> Jamie says, I'm loving Clay Doh. Mm, me too. And you know, it's even better than the Play Doh because you can cure it solid. Man, you, when I play with clay, the reason why I'm not into it, because it's not solid. You know, the colorful clay, you have to, but this clay though is amazing. It's, you can freeze it right away. You know what? I don't play with clay enough. Are they turn solid eventually? What do you mean? Like play doh? Like if you make a dragon, would this dragon <laughs> become solid? You mean or... like the original play doh we grew up with? Like, like if you take it and you make a dragon mm -hmm. with the dragon, if you let it sit there for a week on your uh, kindergarten paper, is, is it turn solid or the, you can mess with it still? It will turn solid eventually through air dry and the dissipation of, of the wetness that's in it, but not like clay clay, not like something. Oh, not like real actual dry. clay. Jimmy says it passes the inspection. It's better than what she has. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I care this. Forgot about oven-baked Play-Doh. Oven-baked Play-Doh? <laughs> yeah, because you can make a little hamburger patty. Oh, and you can bake it. Put it in, yeah. yeah, you're right. So I guess it's the same thing. But, I mean, you have to bake it for hour. Play-Doh. <laughs> play, uh, Play-Doh, uh, play you have to bake it for hour, but Play-Doh only bake it for 60 seconds. <laughs> Oh, just wanted to say that Tino is so talented and does the best work ever. So clean, precise, and unique. I also love you guys' relationship. So cute. Cheers to both. Well, thank, oh, you. thank you. Sorcerer's Jar says, I'll send a picture of the stuff I make with polymer. See, I, th I, okay. think, I think we all have a little little kid trapped inside of it. Oh, closet. yeah. I mean, who wouldn't like to make whatever you want to make with something like that? It just, when I was little, it's so expensive. It's like, because it's from America, so it's expensive. So my parents could, could, I would see that and I see it's so colorful and never want that. But then my parents would tell me to go in the backyard because in Vietnam, in our backyard, we have like mud. So, mud. yeah, so, so I just play with mud, um, and then I just imagine the color, like, ooh, it's yellow, it's red, but it's really just all brown. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, somebody asked her. I'm so thankful now that I have enough money to buy play -Dohs. Oh, and enough money to change the name of <laughs> Play-Doh, play <-Doh. laughs> I was asking earlier if you had any tips on how to make the perfect heart. Make the perfect heart? Oh, oh easy. Yeah. Let me show you. So, of course, that when you look at the heart. Okay, so my number one. I'm going to show you a, a few, okay? So, number one is a teardrop. You press. And me, I'm, I'm pressing and I can. Uh, hold on, let me do that again. I'm pressing and I can just string it out like this. So you're really not drawing it, you're just dabbing it in the place, kind of? Yeah, no, it, a teardrop like this. And that's a teardrop, see that? But I'm going to show you, you a slow way. Like you're taking your brush and you make a dot first. Make sure it's round. Of course, you can make a round thing with your brush. And then you come over here and you clean this like this. So now it's skinny. And then you go back with a skinny brush and you pull it out like this into a teardrop. And then you're going to do it again. A dot like this. And then you're going to pull it out with a skinny brush like this. But it's just when you do like a solid heart like what I'm doing. Now. Uh, let me show you how you do like a hot hot, like actually draw it out. Um, for me to draw it out, first I'm going to draw a negative heart. A negative heart is when I color all around it. 
and its cell is hollow. So I have a straight line and I have a V shape. And then that straight line, I go and down. And then about halfway, I am pulling it in another V shape. And then and this corner right here, I'm crossing it up. So now you got semi of a heart. And then I'm going to take a clean brush still. I'm going to color around it like that. I'm going to blend it in, make sure that all the angle is gone like that. that. This same thing too. Just kind of help round it up, you know, with a thin brush. Don't have any gel on it. Just like that. And then you start to color around it, okay? And then uh, this is how you do a solid heart. So number one, number two, and now number three is, I am, a, I am starting out with a V. Okay. okay. Um, and then from here, I start curving in. And then I set up my point, which is down here. And then I curve it to here and I stop. That's what one, more people go wrong is that they keep on going. You curve right here and then you stop because people mistake curve and they curve all the way. You don't curve all the way. You curve here and from this point, it goes straight in. It doesn't curve anymore. It goes straight in. The tail is always... But see like that, it, it's not curved, it's straight, straight in. And then you can color in the, this heart right here. You can put different color in it like this. Okay. Now, these, these techniques are for heart that need to be color like this. These need to be colors. Okay, so this technique is for small, tiny, little heart. You just draw a teardrop on both sides and become a heart. This is for you to color around it. You're doing like this. This is for you to color inside. So these are easy, easy, easy. Now, I'm showing you a difficult heart. A difficult heart is a heart that you don't color. You frame. Frame heart are difficult because they have to be flawless on both sides. So I'm going to do a frame heart. First, I keep my brush thin because I know that uh, I have to go back with the line. So I'm keeping it super thin and I sketch it out first. So there's a dot right here and I'm doing a little curve like this. And then this, I'm doing a little curve too. Same distance, same curve. So that is the first hearted part is two of them are the same. First curve, second curve, same distance, nothing too short, nothing too long. Now, I am setting out my point. Or if you don't want to set out your point, you find you can just eye it like this. Now, curve and then halfway and then straight in. Same thing here, curve. Way and then straight. Now this is difficult because because if I draw these or these, you notice that okay. So if I draw these, you notice that my inside are pretty ugly. Like it's not it's not pretty, but my outside are pretty because I only focus on one one side so inside i know i'm gonna fill it in so it don't have to be pretty now if i draw this then the inside have to be pretty like this like this you see that's why it's easy because you only focus on one side which is the inside the outside like that, you don't care about that because you're going to feel it in. You know what I mean? 
so you don't care about outside. What makes this hard because both sides have to be sharp, nice, flawless. So now I'm going to go back. And this is when I adjust the pressure. Make sure the pressure is on nice. See that? Like, I mean, here, you can tell that this part is a little thick, this part is a little thin. But when I go back, I make sure all the pressure is the same, so the line is consistent. But that is like four different ways of drawing a heart. So, have fun! Oh, I even forgot about this design. I was like, I know, right? Oh, you got I so was, much into the hearts. I was doing this design. I didn't remember. I doing the lava lamp. Hello, Lens. Hi, Lens. Okay. Continue on here. One heart in the middle. So, in this technique, I use teardrop. It's small, tiny, low heart. Like this. Now, the reason why the tail is so long because I want to drag it out. So, it's make me a water drop, an oil drop. Oil drop. Yeah. Good day, I'm Candy Coated. Dragging this out. Hello, Candy Coated. Okay, now, all the way down. This one is a little shorter. And I do need this to be a little pointier. Ooh, I hate drawing in slippery surface. I'm telling you, it's so difficult. Okay, let me see. Okay. The black gel he is using is stained glass. Stained glass gel number 11. See. A mystical black. Mystical. <laughs> Pigment base is sold out. <clears throat> Pigment base is sold out and will be restocked on the 22nd which is like one or two days later i am on point <laughs> right when it sold out the next shipment arrived yeah so so no panic there i already prepared it mm -hmm. and i play in that order since we still have two thousand bottle left but i was like this gonna be sold out so I planned it, I ordered it. Now, two months later, it's arrived right here when it's sold out. Mm -hmm. Right on time, time too. Okay. Mm. 
No, I can do an upside down heart. It's just that. Upside down heart? Yeah, it's because it's draped like this. I think an upside down heart would be easier, actually. It's like saggy boobs. Yeah, just... it's like avocado. avocado. That sounds good. Avocado and honey. Mm -hmm. Avocado is always growing pear, like a boss hat. It's always growing pear. <laughs> It's interesting. I, uh, my uncle have an avocado tree. It's a perfect, perfect restocking honey you done, Greg. Yes, fantastic, fantastic. Cindy, going today. Bing Bay sold out. I say it's coming. It's coming. Twenty seconds. It's like Wednesday. And then art gel, they say uh, black and white art gel also almost sold out. I said, it's coming Wednesday also. <laughs> I have planned everything out. Just... Well, she's getting everything ready for the show. Today the power goes out. That's why she's yes. panicky a little bit. Yeah. Um, We only have 14 bottles of jello left. Um. It's not going to go back in stock very soon. Did you know that avocados... It might not never be in stock. I don't know. What's that? Avocados are called pears in the Caribbean. Pears? Mm -hmm. Pears. Well, what are they called? Oh. Yeah, what do <laughs> they call a pear? <laughs> then what do they call the pears? <laughs> oh, pear, like P-A-I-R. You know, like a pear. Like a couple. Right. So the pair is still remain an E. Or maybe maybe a pair like a pear pear. Like those pears you used to get from the Asian market. Oh. Right. But the name of the avocado, they will keep an I uh, the A. P A I R instead of um P E A R. I missed the start. Did you have a special way of applying the glass polish to avoid striping uh, or color difference? No. Uh, for some reason, it's perfect. I don't. I. Uh, I don't even know where I've striped. I don't know why, but it's perfect. I didn't try to make it perfect. Maybe it's just a gel, I guess. Stained glass gel. Stand glass gel, I did tell them to put a lot of pigment in, so maybe because of that, that is flawless. I don't know. I don't know, but I didn't try to make it perfect. It's just perfect on its own. It's just like that. that. But then again, the surface is a sheer surface. If I were to put it on white, then I'd be more careful. I would expect street if it's on white. I never really put stained glass gel on like white or nude. Did you say no more black at gel in stock? No, jello. Jello. Jello, yeah. Remember me and my vendor, the one that are uh, doing jello? So jello is almost sold out, but I don't know when it's going to be in stock. I couldn't give you a date. It might not be in stock. Are you playing yeah. hardball? Jello, well, I mean, she have trouble uh, communicate with me, and she still do. I don't know where she is, but apparently uh, you couldn't talk on WhatsApp overseas. I don't know. She in Germany. Is there anything about Germany that I should know? You asking me? No, I'm oh. you know, like that's something about the connection or whatever. She just couldn't communicate with me. I've been waiting for her. To... With the shadow low in stock, does that affect the kit? Like it's not available for the kit either, or are those put together already? Um, the kit sh should be able to put together, but when you run out of anything in the kit, then um, you're not gonna see the kit on to on the website. When we still have something in stock, you're still gonna see that kit. But when we run out, then they remove the kit from the website. Um, 
because we don't allow long term. Uh, but the one that I'm talking about is Jello, and none of the kids have Jello. Jello is a little different. I don't include kids because kids is beginners, and Jello is not a beginner thing. Jello is for someone who knows exactly what they're doing, who looking for that kind of texture for their art. So I don't include cello on kit. I don't think. I don't think. No. Okay. Now I am gonna choose pink. This one is pink gel colors, and this is not hot pink. This is hot pink. See that? Is that hot pink? This is just pink. Okay. This is more or pure. This is a, 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 um, a rich, rich pink and they mix it with white. So it becomes this colors. <clears throat> no, it's not fairy gel. It's part of the colors. Yeah, right. these are the colors. Fairy gel is in this smaller square. Smaller That's fairy gel. I only have six color fairy gel. It's glow in the dark. But this one is a pink what they mix with white. So it's electric, it's, it's, it's opaque. Now this one is it's kind of like have 80% opaque and then 20% is sheer just because it's pure all the way. And how you can tell when something is pure is in the bottle, you see this, and when you, you spread it out, it's like magnificent. <laughs> this this means it's really, really pure. You see that a lot with uh, with Halo. The color halo. Sickly. That, like a lot of people have this. And some people like wonder why it's sheer is because if it's not sheer is the if it's opaque, then that means they mix it with white. But this means it's pure. Okay now. We are taking we're gonna we're gonna clean this. But we don't need white anymore. Clean up white, and it's time for pink. Uh, these designs are very simple. Like, I just need only three types of gel, that's all. Four types of gel. Stained glass first, pigment base. Now I'm using pink. And then I'm going to use some stained glass, pink stained glass. That'd be all. Just only four models, that's it. Oh my God, that's so easy. Like that. That's only four bottles. <gasps> you never see me use only four bottles to draw. Well, you're not done yet. You might come up with, you know. That is so fun. But then again, it's not a crazy design either. Mm -hmm. It's a simple design. But I still need it because it's a look that I'm going for. It's a vibe that I'm going for. It's oh. I have, oh, I have gel on my uh, on my brush. I'm so up to it. Yeah. Distract today. Because you're excited, maybe. No, I'm no. distracted. Okay. Would it help if I sat over here and I didn't say a word? Well, you don't distract me. <laughs> you mean you're you've built a tolerance against my distractions? Okay. I want you to apply on black and on white. Now, the reason why I don't use stained glass gel for this, because remember that this is black. If I want my stained glass gel to show up on black, I have to frost it. So it can show up on black very well. It's still gonna show up on black, but not very well if I don't frost it. it but this is a gel polish, so it's gonna show up on black because it's not very sheer it's still very opaque but just sheer enough that you can see the difference between the white the one that is land on white and then the one that is land on black you can see the the, the two major difference and yes if you go for a different color like yellow or green or blue you can still use gel polish 
that's long and it's not like pasty like if you don't if you use gel polish it's not pasty if you have Didn't we get entwined with a lava lamp one time, watching it for hours and hours? And hours? Uh, no. Uh, you mix up with a story. <laughs> we know a nurse. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, in yeah. the emergency yeah. room. And then that one day, that one guy come in with a lava lamp up his ass. And and that is when I started intrigued with the emergency room. <laughs> I asked her, all, I'm like, you asked her tell me more. Me. Tell me more about, about things that you see seen an emergency room <laughs> you guys it's amazing in emergency room the thing that happens is that what we call it amazing it's amazing i was like wow mm. thing that i don't even know that exists we don't want to know i was like how does that lava lamp get up in there i like mm. i wouldn't call the i wouldn't call ambulance at all oh no i just die with it yeah i was just gonna die with it it's yeah. so embarrassing <laughs> I will never let, let people look at me like that. Rolling into the emergency room, all eye on you. <laughs> no way. I imagine you'd have to go in like on a gurney looking like you're getting ready to- Honestly, not his baby. first time. <laughs> Obviously. He gotta graduate to that level. He gotta start with cucumber or something small. Oh my goodness, no. Maybe some Vlasic pickles or- Yeah. Pickle, but cucumber, I'm... bam, lava lamp, is yeah. it? How did he even get there? I don't know. I bet he's straight. <laughs> Only straight people would do weird things like that. Uh, I love you, baby. When I first doing this, you guys, I almost want to give up. <laughs> when I first put this pink on, because, I mean, it looks so ugly. I was like, what the hell? But I, I was so thankful that I keep on going because, I mean, this is so beautiful. I mean, I've never seen you give up. I, I almost, I almost throw that away because, but thanks, thankfully that I was making a video. So I was already in too deep. So I was like, I'm going to go all the way. And when I finish, it's so beautiful. It's just that in the middle of the process, it looks so hideous. But you can still see the bright white, and then you see this deep pink. You're like, mm, what is this? But wait until it's glow. Wait until we add stained glass gel in. See the difference? See that? I almost lose on that one but thankfully that I keep on going that lead me up to this and and that that happened uh you'd be surprised it happened very often when you design gifted hands says you wasn't trusting the process I wasn't just in the process I was um but I never do anything like that Nitus. I do lava lamb before but not in that way I almost give up on that and and thankfully I didn't give up because sometimes when you give up too late you might end up doing something amazing that you didn't know you can but just because you give up you never got a chance to find that one out I'm so glad that I keep on going because the end result are beautiful So this seems like it would be easy. Is it pretty easy? Nice. Very, very easy, yes. It just requires you to know the layer, like what I'm doing right now. That was important, but the why are easy. It just sometimes when it comes to glow, people can get confused of what to put on and what layer to put on. So uh, this is just the knowledge on the layers, but nothing that, uh, about the execution that you have to worry about. The execution. Are very easy, it's just the layers. 
just want you to you know the layers and what to use but everyone should be able to do this perfectly so if i see an ugly one no excuse you have to be pretty <laughs> so last night I have a nightmare. <laughs> there was a giant panda chasing me at the zoo and it holding bamboo <laughs> and it's so terrifying because it's so big and fluffy and it's chasing me and I thought that it's gonna eat me so I keep running away from it um after a while I snap out of it it was unlike anything I ever dreamed before that is weird a giant panda I mean I'm sure it's I'm sure if it catch up to me, it might offer me some bamboo or something. I don't know. Are you sure it wasn't sugar cane? Mm, it's bamboo. And it's really, it's pretty kinky looking too. But I didn't let it give a chance to catch up with me. I ran immediately. Jamie said the panda didn't want to eat you, it wanted your nails. Mm, probably. I'm not quite sure what it's one. I just know I don't have one anything to do with it. I'm like, mm -mm. <laughs> I would have got eight. They're so cute. I hope we never run into a bear because I'm probably going to try to pet it. You know, I am. Yeah. And it probably tried to pet you too. <laughs> but uh, I think. Yeah, like like it's scratch. Like sometimes when animals hurt people, it doesn't necessarily mean that they are mean. It's just how they play with you. Just playing a little aggressive. Like it, you ever see a cat play with you? But it's like buying your your hand and everything so cutely. But can you imagine if a panther play like that with you? That'd be awful. I wouldn't want a panther play with me like a cat playing with me. <laughs> Yeah, I said I don't want to run into a bear because I'll try to pet it. I have this habit of thinking that they're all friendly. Well, actually, I haven't met one that's not yet. Well, they are friendly. I think animals are friendly. It just, how do we view friendly? You know, because humans have a different perception of friendly me friendly as you walk away with all your arms like like i mean if the bear decides to like bite the tip of your pinky finger that could mean that it's a it's a friendship things i it, wouldn't take that as you know just because you're human yeah. human have a different concept of friendliness than animal and animal can have a different concept of friendliness Like a snake. When a snake being friendly is wrap its body around you and uh, yeah. yeah, see that? I'm not, I'm not saying they're not being friendly. Right. I'm not saying animal are mean. <coughs> See, my animal heart are rain. friendly. It's just that it's just like what do we mean when we say friendly? No biting? No scratching? Is that what we mean? No. Because that's no. what they do. No, because even aggressive <laughs> like that, it's, it's still not, you know. Yeah, if, if they buy the tip off their fingers, that might mean they just want to be a friend. Me me friendly is they don't just come straight in for an attack. Right. They're all nice. Like when the snake just approaches you slowly and wrap its finger, wrap its body around you uh, lovingly. That, that very well may be true. Yeah. I just prefer to run from them before exactly. they get to do all that. Because they poisonous, yeah. Like animal, sometimes when I run from them, not because I, I don't trust their friendliness. It's just they have claw and teeth, and I try and you know what if they friend kiss you? 
I mean, not with pointy teeth, you know. That doesn't mean that they're not friendly. They just have pointy teeth. So when they French kiss you. Oh, ooh. What's that? I'll read it to you while you work. Bamboo dreams are about personal growth. You are on a rapidly growing spiritual journey. Panda bear represents peace and harmony and balance. It being terrifying could represent need for balance or and harmony. Oh, I would say we got good harmony and balance. Yeah, it's not ter it's not like the panda being terrified. I just ran away from it because I don't want I don't know what it's want from me. I don't know what it is. Attention it's is going to give you bamboo. It hold a big bun of bamboo and it's running and it's running on two legs, which is even weirdest. <laughs> but, but yeah, of course, it's of course, it's peaceful. I think the panda is the most peaceful ever because the panda is black, it's white, and it's Asian at the same time. <laughs> it's universal. Yeah, it's universal. It's black, white, and Asian. How do you manage to grow and develop this body? That doesn't mean to say that you're not good. What is going on there? With the... There was something playing that are not music. I think this is leading into a song. Oh. And the act of violence is the end. So you don't think. And that doesn't mean to say... Let you ask to breathe in just the same way as you're breathing without knowing how you breathe. I recognize that voice. Oh. <laughs> but yes. For some reason, last night, um, that before I told you that that one night, I don't know what I'm thinking, but I was doing ostrich mating, and it's pretty like hilarious. But last night I googled turtle mating. I'm telling you, it's the most weirdest thing in the planet. You should Google it. It's horrible. It's it's like what in the world? Mm. But it's quite an eye opening last night when I see the turtles. I mean, it's big. It is big. Like an alien. <laughs> so is that why all the blankets and pillows was kicked off the bed last night? Maybe. But my fa favorite is still the, the, uh, the ostrich mating. It's just so crazy to me how the male does it. It's fluff its feather like crazy and it's doing this dance. It's hilarious. Because they got two legs, of course they're going to dance all cute like. And the female one, absolutely nothing to do with it. Tony said you can hear them from my house. Yeah? Yeah. On the ostrich? Uh -huh. Oh my god, I want to see one in person made in so bad. <laughs> I want to see the male dancing. No, but not to the female, to me. To me. Just to you? Yeah. I want to see the, 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 the male ostrich doing the little dance like that to me. It's so fun. Oh, I was so distracted that I even messed up a little bit right here. <laughs> Thinking about it. Oh. Oh, oh man. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sammy hmm. says, I remember going to the pond fishing and two snapping turtles were going at getting some in the pond. Do you pull it out? Son, thought they were fighting. He left thinking the same. <laughs> Do you pull the penis out? They, oh my God. They went their house. They acted like it was natural. Oh, okay. Oh my God. It was so weird. It's a weird. It's, it's so big. It like, it like, the size of the actual turtles, or even bigger than the turtle itself, the weirdest thing ever. I bet some of you are googling it right now. <laughs> I know I would. Uh... 
but you know it's not everything that i do in the past in my past time i do other things but sometimes i just wonder i'm just curious i'm happy to do it okay hear this now now i need to use stained glass gels And this color is number four. So number four and number six are both pink, but number four is a hot pink. And number six is a fuchsia. One is a deep fuchsia. One is like a hot, hot pink. So what I'm thinking is, you know, I like eating turtle. Uh-huh. There's a lot of meat there. <laughs> um it's complicated. Let's go. Oh, I don't want to do you in complicated the flavor flavors. Complicated. I hate it when you say that. That's why they make the soup because it's open up the flavor. Hello. It, it's have a very, very complex flavors. A little turkey. I, I I attempt to uh make the turtle before, but the older I get, the more I don't want him. I don't want to make a turtle because in Asia we superstitious that uh, killing turtle is a sin. A sin. It's sinful, yeah, it's sinful. So, um, I don't uh, kill turtle and eat them. Sometimes I even leery about eating them. Okay, I, I just have to ask now. I just have to ask. Uh -huh. Did you let that turtle go? I did not. It's running away from me. It's so okay. fast. Okay. It's, uh, I just turn my head, and then when I turn back, it's gone. I never see a turtle move like that, but yeah, it's fast. No, I did not let it go. I was excited to eat it. Well, I thought you were, but you know, also I didn't it know how to turtle that me. way. I mean, just didn't. It's so fast. It's outran me. <laughs> I don't think you chased it. I didn't chase you it. If look, I chased it, I would When I asked, where's the turtle? I was coming back. <laughs> yeah, back in the day when we lived in the wood, uh, I th that is one of my things is I, I lost our turtle. <laughs> and, you know, when we live in the wood, you need to, you need food because... If you let your foot run away from you, then you're going to start for that day. I lost that turtles. Well, turtles very good, Tanya. But I'm kind of in the same boat as Tino now at this point. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't believe in killing anything. I don't, yeah. The, the more less my life have become and the all the good things that have happened in my life, I'm scared of just ruining it. I'm scared of ruining it. I want to. I don't want to make bad karma by by slaughtering an animal and and eating them. You know, so uh, I I don't do that in a long time. Like even with chicken, like preparing chicken and all that. Cause in in the country they are making their own chicken. Cause it's more real. It's more authentic. But I'm just scared. Mm -mm. I almost want to become a vegetarian. Well. We're headed that way. Yeah. I've got a nice, nice long term 30 year plan. By the end of it, we'll be vegetarian. Vegetarian. So, yeah. If we get there sooner, great. I just didn't want to put too much pressure on us. It's perfect. Still mine. See now, when I do this stained glass gel number four, it get better. At that point, I was like, okay, I'm not worried about it anymore. And when I put on the second layer of stained glass gel, I was like, this is hot. This is so beautiful. Just remember, just the process. Because right now, now, it doesn't look very attractive. But when you add in just a, another layer of stained glass gel, which is lighter than the pink you put on, because the pink you put on right here, that's polished. Stained glass gel are more sheer. Stained glass gel are almost 100% sheer. How they put the pigment on with how 
making it more opaque. I have no idea. But it's very, very sheer. And that's what I use to increase the gradient of the glow. And I'm still not done. I'm still going to add a light, light layer of stained glass gel right inside the white whenever I kill an artist. Next week, you know what we need to do? Before what we do we need to do? We need to stop by that Salvador. We leave next week? I think so. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't oh, anticipate. Well, yeah. Well, next, next week? Next eight days from now. Eight days from now, we left? <laughs> Gotta get all my duck in the roll. Or nine. Eight or nine. Okay. When I say that, I've given us a week to get out there like I always do. I have enough content to post until February Three. Three? Yeah. February 4. February 4. I need about six more content. Maybe Tino can explain the difference between mica and pigment. Oh, yeah. So mica and pigment, they are all pigment. <laughs> mica is cheaper. Mica is like China. And then you heard mica, you heard China. So in mica, the particle is a little bigger. That's why you see glitter, you see shimmer in mica, mostly for eyeshadow. When mica, I, I have mica. I have mica, I just rarely use it. Uh, my mica called the shimmer box. I don't think I have the shimmer box in here. I don't. But, box. yeah. But um, when you apply on the surface that meant to apply pigment, mica is lighter. Um, that's why I don't. The same, right? No, that's why I don't use it a lot on mica because the color is not one hundred percent there. Like, let me get some pigment. Like, like let's say this pigment. When I put it on, I see the color, and I see the color very well <clears throat> because it's pure, it's raw. Now, when it comes to mica, there's no guarantee that it's raw and pure. I mean, they, if they mix shimmer in, they mix stuff in, then when you dust that onto the surface, what you're gonna see is half color and half like shimmer, whatever crap they put in. in. So that is the only difference. Um, but some mica, if they don't mix everything in, that, then I don't think that it called mica, then it called pigment instead. But like MAC, like if you if uh, you take MAC eyeshadow, it's, it's very, um, it's very quality. You know, they don't, so for some reason, they be able to make the pigment shimmer without it being taken away from, from the opacity. I just rather you mica, uh, when I use mica, I don't dust on the surface. I mix it, like, like pink pigment right here. I did, if I were to do on a white surface, I will put on a pigment base, I tear it, and then I dust it on. But mica, if let's say I have um, a glitter shimmer pink mica, if I apply on a nail. I mix it with a pink gel or I mix it with a clear gel and mix in with gel polish and apply it. That's how I love to use mica or shimmers is by mixing. Mm -hmm. And and I have I have a, a a shimmer box. My shimmer box I have about twelve or fourteen color or something like that and it's like nine 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 for the whole box. Sometimes I pull it out and I use it. <clears throat> I have a lot of stuff, so 
sometimes I forget about certain stuff. Like I, I need to use pepper. Well, you know, like mention about pepper. It huh? hasn't even made it to the rack yet. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff. I only use it. Like I'm not gonna use it just because I want to sell it and I want to push it. I only use it whenever I need to use it. When it's relevant. So, yeah. So if I don't need to use a certain thing, you might never seen it. You know. <laughs> A certain thing I have it for other people that they need, like the shimmer box. The reason I have it because I know some people, sometimes people like mica, and they doesn't want to spend a lot of money on pigment, so they just spend less money, way less money, just to buy a box of mica. That's why I have it, but I only use it whenever there's a reason for me to use it. Amy says. Mixes nice into gels. She mm -hmm. Very it. nice. Uh, it makes it very nice into gel. I like to use it for mixing the most. Uh, let me think. Um, what else do I use it for? Uh, I mixed it in silicone once before. Uh, and then... But that is at like my beginning state of silicone. Well, I'm not quite familiar with it yet, but now I'm familiar with silicone. I wouldn't mix it with anything. Uh, I only mix a white with pigments. That's all I mix it with. But the clear, I don't mix it with um, shimmer like I do before. The clear, I leave it alone and I just chrome it whenever I need to chrome it. But um, the white, I have it so you can mix with pigments. Yeah, See, it's close, but it's not all the way yet. You still need a little more stained glass. Ooh, have you ever tried to mix shimmer uh, or mica with... Uh... Cat eyes. You ever tried that? Ooh, I, w I wonder what that would be like. So, Tino can paint on canvas, but he has not done it for a very I long time. I haven't done it for a long time. My passion lay with nail. It's smaller for me. Canvas, I can be in the room for a few months, and you will never see me. Hmm. That's why. Since the day, yeah, since the day doesn't met me, you haven't seen me been on a canvas because I can disappear whenever I'm working on a project. Painting canvas is different than painting on nail because nail is not completely art. Nail is considered fashion. So besides the artistic perp uh, aspect of it, it's more uh, commercial light. Like, like if I painted a heart like this, <laughs> I want it to be pretty. I want it to be glowy on nail. If I were to do it on a canvas, it could be gruesome, it could be dark, and it could be veiny. Uh, the type of work that I do on canvas is is um, the opinion on it and is it, honest. It's like impression, impressionist. Not... It's honest. <laughs> the opinion is honest on canvas art, and it can only be viewed by people that have courage to view it and and the one that make it have to be courageous enough to put honest opinion out there it can be very risky to have an opinion an honest opinion in art it can be controversial and um and i don't know because it, it, my work never been criticized by critic so so, but in my opinion, I, I, I like it. I, I, I like my approach with it. Mm, most of it are sarcasm when I put it in a painting too. But I haven't do it in a long time, in 15 years. But I like now, because now it's not that deep. It's fashion. <laughs> it doesn't require an honest opinion. I mean, if a heart is pink, then let it be pink, you know? Well, in art, it's like, why do you have a pink heart? 
Where in now it's like a pink heart is cute. What up with it? Makes sense. Why is it glow? Ah, uh, because it's cute when it glow. Why is that glitter <laughs> in the heart? Because it's beautiful with glitter. All of that I couldn't do in art. In art, it'd be criticized heavily. You know, they'd be like, why did your heart have glitter? Then I have to explain. I, and I, I couldn't use anything as shallow as it's cute and it's pretty. I have to like find a, a deep meaning of why I put a glitter on, a, on my heart. And I don't have any deep meaning on it. I put on it because it's cute and it's pretty. So I love now because I love fashion. I don't have to be that deep in fashion. I design for the public versus when I'm I'm painting canvas, I design for myself. I it's not a design, I'm I'm painting for myself. <laughs> Where well, in nail art I painting for the public. I go with what the majority thing is sexy and beautiful, which can change over time, of course. Where is my filler brush? Your filler brush? Is that it over there on the table? Right there, babe? Right there? Yes. <laughs> Mr. That's what my client do. Whenever I do nail for my client, sometimes I get pissy at them. Like, Where is my filler brush? You keep talking to me, Becky. And I, I last struck my filler brush. And then she like, it's right there, and she knows. <laughs> I'm still mad at you, Becky. Uh, I but thank got you. a good question from Lens. I, I can answer for her. Okay, what's that? Um, what's your advice on painting a bigger surface like a wall? Uh, roller. <laughs> you well, on, on now. True. I mean, on now. That is technique. The technique for it. On on art on 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 big canvas. There is no technique. Like. Like if I, I okay, okay, okay. Like uh, on now, if I want to do like an ocean way with bubbles, I might use tricks. I might brush something on, and I might carve it with a brush, and then I might use bubble effect, mix it up, and put some gel in with bubble on it and make an ocean so on nails are strict <laughs> on canvas if i want to paint ocean way with bubble i just gotta do it i just gotta paint the bubbles and paint the way no effect and the colors actual painting is that this is actual painting 100 percent painting from head to toe it's all painting there's no chemical like this there's no chemical that make your life easier Now, that's why I love it so much. But there's cool thing, cool chemical that make your life easy. But on painting, you just have to have all the color out and rock and roll with it. And I know she just barely putting that brush in there. Would it be good advice to tell them not to submerge too much? Uh, you can submerge. It's a lot. Um, you just have to stroke it out thin. You can submerge it like this but it's it's because it's stained glass gel and stained glass gel as long as you you put a little more pressure on your stroke it's gonna be light so it's sheer just make sure that this stroke is sheer than the the first time i put it on so you can see the difference you know the drummer about this is, is there's no chemical to make the effect on the wall yeah it's boring to me anyway the only interesting about canvas painting is people opinion other than that that's why every time that people say oh you know you're like bob ross sometimes i do get a little offended just because bob ross is not an actual artist bob ross have sit there and analyze his move like a move that make this tree, he have practiced it until it's perfect. <clears throat> a move that make a mountain using a knife, he practiced it until it's perfect. So when he on screen, on camera, it's not because he can paint fast, but oh, he already know all the moves. 
He just you are the mood to make a painting. So when I think of people that paint pretty little tree or pretty little flower or cute little animal, to me that is not art. To me that is that is cottage porn. It's cottage porn. It's not art. Cottage it, porn. It's cottage porn. It's just thing that you sell in little market like Walmart or Hobby Lobby shop. It's not something that can change the world. It's not something that carry a honest opinion. Like, like if I paint myself with, with like a rope around my head um, <clears throat> and torn on my head and my chest rip out and that's like heart bleeding, that's some name on the heart, it gotta have a message, you know what I mean? Meaning behind it. But a cute little tree, a, a cute little animal running around, that cottage porn, that is not art. <clears throat> you look like you're getting close to wrap wrapping this up. Mm -hmm. It's easy. What is today, 19th? Today. I know that it might be Tuesday or Wednesday or Monday or it could be Sunday. I don't know. You know what? It might not be Wednesday. It's today. I, just I don't remember. Sure. Today's today. Today is a day. Yeah, today's today. It could still be Sunday though, but I'm sure it's around Monday to Tuesday unless it's Wednesday and I don't know about it. Hear this. All I know is wherever Tiny's at, it's probably tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> she are they ahead of us, right? I think so. <sighs> Friday the 19th. Today is Friday? The 19th, yeah. Oh, I'm way off. Happy birthday, PLC, son. Where did Thursday go? But anyway, so I'm obviously up like three days. I thought it's like Monday for sure, but it's Friday. Well, that's or maybe good. We're, we're ahead. Still off. No, I'm I'm pretty sure it's mon it's the last Monday, but oh it's it's Friday, so it's it's I'm I'm behind. I'm not ahead. I'm behind, which is fine. As as long as I'm on live, right? Oh, it's Saturday. Tanya say it's Saturday. Australia. Oh, in Australia. Right. Well, as long as I don't lie, it shouldn't matter what day. Mm -hmm. but, but one thing that I'm for sure is that it's 2024. I looked it up last night when I was confused. So now I'm pretty sure on the, the year. And, and this is January. So I know the months and I know the years. See, it doesn't matter what the day is, as long as I know the months, I know the years, I'm fine. Oh, Tony said, all I know is it's Tino Day. Yes. Um, okay, so this design is shiny. For those that keep saying, why do you do mad now? Why do you do mad now? Here we go, a shiny now, just for you. Just for you, special. Wow, they get one nail set out of a fat. That's you awful. get a nice shiny nail set. set from Tino finally. So, so don't ask, ask again. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, what? Don't you remember Friday the 13th? I did shiny now. Oh my goodness. Oh, that even great. That easy for me to remember. Friday the thirteenth. I did shiny nail on Friday the thirteenth. The scariest day ever. I painted the scariest day. Shiny ever. nails, glossy nail, poetic. Mm. 
Uh, yes, is is that top coat? Yes. Yes. Shine it. Shine it. I might do two coat. Just got when I put on, I know that I got some dirt on it. Just because I I didn't think that I dust my palette, so uh, I might do another coat. Have you ever done a short nail? tutorial uh yes i done a short nail tutorial before uh only like three times though a short tutorial for short nails on my big page uh when i do the own nails i, I can feel the short tutorials is is still this long the own nails oh okay the own nails yeah that's been the on now is sports short all the way short i paint whenever i paint character painting and I do on short now. I thought that was pretty impressive. So I film her a few times. I film uh, doing her now for a few times. But I thought that it's how, so cool that I can draw like a portrait inside a tiny little sport lane. But it's just the whole thing make me depressed. I hate it to the gut. It's like walking into a fashion runway and ask the designers, Oh, can you have, um, can you have, all the dress plus size and, and you can you have all men clothing and you know we don't want gown we don't want evening gown and we don't want size zero model it's like boring you know size zero model make the dress beautiful so that's that's what, what i like i like standard xxx now because i think that it's beautiful like this short nail depressed Course. But you can select something from the runway on a size zero model and you can custom it into plus size. You can custom it shorter and you can custom it into uh, menswear. You can do that. But whatever on the runway, leave it alone. You can, can recreate it on shorter nails, but leave the standard model and nail alone. These are beautiful model. Now, when it comes to the rhinestone, that is a tricky part. Uh, that might be one of the few sets that have no rhinestone. I don't know Dustin would go for it. But me, I always try to find a way to put rhinestone in. <laughs> Last yesterday, uh, I was searching through the web, and I find one of my friend Jenny younger picture when we still a virgin. No, I mean when she's still innocent, not when she's still a virgin. She was never a virgin, but uh, when she's still innocent. <laughs> find a picture is so cute too, when her hair is still straight. Okay, let's do another code. Mm -hmm. I keep having a little micro hair in here. Your eyes must be better than mine because I don't see them. You know, not a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people are shocked when they heard that I have bad eyesight. They thought because what I do that I have amazing eyesight, but I don't. Which means you're even more of an artist. Because <laughs> the work is flawless. I have like, the worst eyesight in the whole world. And I have to go to LASIK again 
to get my LASIK done again uh, after, after the, the show. Oh, it's, uh, after it's the after, show. yeah. Okay. I said it after the show because I didn't have anything soon. Was... Yeah, It's going to be so crazy at the show, too. I got to find your microphone. Yeah. Yeah, if you live in Anaheim, uh, just so you know, I will have a show in Anaheim in uh, February 4th and 5th. But know that I'm going to be, like, chaotic when I'm at the show. I probably will have, like, three seconds to say hi to you, and then I'm going to be that back in demonstrating. If I do your now, that would be great. you get to see me demonstrate. We get to visit. And you get a keeper now. You got a keeper now. A Tino now. You know, I didn't know how crazy people went with my nails. <clears throat> that is lady at the show. And there's some lady that would stay all day just to watch me. They will have any chance they had to snatch a nail from the other lady. And then the other lady like, that's my nail, it's mine. And that lady, oh, oh, I didn't know, it's my purse. Like, they, they are maniac. But now that I just practice on, they just practice, I just practice it on, but they go crazy and they take that so serious. Like they keep animate, you know, like it's mine, right? I'm, I'm going to have it. And they, they watch out for anyone that want to take it. And that's people that want to take it too. So want to snatch it. And like, can I have it? And it's just a nail. It's just a, a, a loose nail. It's just like a practice nail. Mm -hmm. Crazy. So yeah, if if you there to uh for me to do uh one nail for you, uh watch out. Good. If people take it, I'm not responsible for it. It's watch out when I'm I'm done. You have to take that nail away. Put it in your purse. You can bring a video camera to film my process. I I'm there all day long. Uh, the technique will be up to me to choose. But I'm not spending time at the show to do a, a, a portrait or a character painting. Mm -mm. I am uh, going after fast and hard technique. Instant gravitation. I'm not there to draw. Like, you wouldn't see this drawing there. There's you a lot of good techniques, though. Special effects. All they love. Special effects. Yeah, all special effects. Things that change in front of people's eyes so they can see and they can be like, ooh, Good how enough. fun, yeah. Things that only offer instant gratification. Not things that you have to like sit there and like wait for me to get done. But show, like things that every step is, is fun. Like every step is awesome. Like drawing like this, the only fun part is the end, the result. The end result. Yeah, the end result. Can you make a, can you make a book on special effects? Uh, I I can if I I if I have time I can. That'd be uh helpful, but it take a lot to make a book though, make a lot. Yeah, we just gotta keep following the path. Yeah. That we are. If we're supposed to make the book, then an author will fall in our lap. <laughs> and it's not like I don't want to make it. Cause if I make a book, I can sell it for sure. It's just that I have to save time 
time for it. If I if I have time, I will. Okay, anything you make in the book, you couldn't take it back. You know, you couldn't um, update it. Like technique, I can update it if there's a video. Last year, this year video, it could be different. It could be updated, but not a book. So when I have a book, I have to plan now, I think carefully. Let me see. Let me... See on my fingers, see how pretty it is. Oh my god, you guys. Whenever I'm wearing this set, it's gonna be the hardest thing ever. <gasps> Can you imagine this on my hand? That gonna be hot. Just straightforward. Just pink drips. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be on my hand. Yeah, everything I did. You read the comments. See. Thank you. Thank you. What is your Vietnamese uh, surname? Is a T. T is my Vietnamese surname. So it's close to Tino. Definitely sexy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's 20 seconds. It's so long. Uh, it's only one live today because I have class to do. But before the live today, I I was spending time to complete in the Aquarius set. I'm so proud of it. I'm not going to go live on Aquarius set just because it takes me a lot of time. Uh, this day took me an hour. So that's a lot of time on this face. Mm, the tentacle didn't take me that long, take me about 40 minutes or so. <laughs> but it because I'm, I'm very like focused and pay attention. If I go live, it, a two hour set will probably took me four hours. Um, if I go live, I go live next year, but I already have the video already full of instruction. Um, I'm not gonna cut this short. It's over a minute. Um, it might be two minutes. Usually, I don't want to make nail set that are more than one minute tutorial because it affects my algorithm. I will make an exception with Aquarius. I will leave it at its proper time so you can watch the whole things and redo it. It probably will be like four minutes. Oof. Oh, Tara, I get to watch <laughs> a little bit. Tara, I get to watch a little bit. <laughs> she was dusting, was talking, and then he walking in and spotted me doing this set. So she got to watch me doing this set, the, the Aquarius set. Oh my God, yes. In this sweet or not? Yeah, super simple, super easy, but just something about it that if it gone viral, I'm gonna freak. Cause it's too simple to go viral, but you just never know. It's so like to me right now, it is so mesmerizing, just because it looks glowy. It's not sharp, so it looks like a dream. It looked like a glowing lava nail dreams. So I am anxious to see the public reaction on this set, on this look. Because if, if it go viral, it will influence my concept from now on. Because every time that I prepare for a viral set, I always put like crazy detail into it. 
but that's not necessary. That will make it go viral. Just the vision alone, you know. What I mean, some some nail set are just that good that people just love it. So I'm curious about this. I'm gonna see how that one turned out. Let's put it in. I am going to post it set in about uh, three minutes or so when I'm done. Uh, when I'm getting off the live, then I will post this uh, live so you can rewatch. Um, but I mean, I don't think that you have to rewatch it in details because it's very simple. You just need to skim and scan, I guess. You, you can just fast forward through it. That is so glowy. You see if there are any question? Doesn't seem like there are any question. Sometimes let it's more yes, Linz. Um, let me see. Hello, love glow. Hi, Yasmin. Uh, thank you, Tara. Thank you. Sweet nail say what design for what's for cancer last year? I did a um I forgot. Let me see. Let me see this. You wanna use this? Yeah. I forgot. I don't have done one cancer set though. Let me find it. Surround October, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, Halloween is such a fun time. I hope you guys have fun in Halloween. I have a lot of fun. Christmas made me. I love Christmas. Halloween is fun too. Next year, Halloween is going to be even more awesome. The summer was a little confusing, but this year, the summer are going to be more uh, team based. July 4 was okay. People did not into July 4. You know, this this year, I'm skipping July 4. I'm not doing July 4. Look at this. It, look at this Gemini. July 4. I don't know. Let me see how this one go. 12,000. 14,000. 3,000, well, that was a buzz. Transformer nails. This Transformer nails, I thought it's going to be cool, but apparently people think it's ugly because, like, it's like 3,000. Let me see how they do it. Oh, I'm bored with it already. Okay, yeah. let me see. 23,000 in Gemini. 17,000 with these flings. You know, this July 4, I might do just fling set. 2000 and this uh, Snoopy set was awful. Let me see how it look. Oh, it's passing. See that? It doesn't make a hit at all. July 4, it's just a buzz. Okay, let me, let me go on to October to find that cancer set. Tardis was the biggest hit ever. This one. Well, actually, it's not the biggest hit. It's 65,000. Yeah. Here you go. Oh, you find the cancer set? Oh! Oh, oh cancer! <laughs> I thought you were talking about Breast cancers. Oh, you're talking about the cancer, like the crap. Yeah. I, I thought you're talking about the breast cancers. So this is a cancers. I like it. It was going okay. It was not that big. This year, uh, my cancer is going to be red. Rotation. Red like the uh, ramen uh, noodle package red. <laughs> ramen package. Red. Red rhinestone all the way. I'm gonna this year cancer. I'm gonna borrow 
the team of Dodger Cat when she when she in that fashion show and her whole face is red rhinestone and her body is red her I mean everything is red I'm gonna embody it in the cancer set this year it's gonna be red glamorous Uh, um, run a uh, crystal. No crystal. No crystal. Okay, let me see. Forever Shine is a cancer. Uh, Dim and Nail is a cancer. You like my cancer last year? This year gonna be better. Last year, I was aiming for it to go viral, but it didn't go viral. So this year, I have to do like an extravagant crap. It's just how I'm going to make a crap sexy. My first solution is bling it out. So far, that was a failure. I'm blinging it out because I approach it with a chrome approach. <laughs> so I couldn't bling it out all the way because I have to leave room for the chrome. This year, my crap not gonna be chrome this year my crap gonna be glitterified mm -hmm. because with glitter i can cover it up with uh with crystal so that's gonna be my new approach that's so cute thank you thank you um thank you umi pop let me see thank you uh jose uh, what color is trending this year <clears throat> so this year all neon color like this. Let me show you. So this year, all of these colors are popular. And um, how can we tell is that our crystal purchase <clears throat> color that are in this color, the crystal that in this color are going crazy. It's sold now like crazy. So people are propelling something on these colors this year um as far that we know on uh crystal bedazzle and crystal have a, a big influence in the fashion world so um i'm modern crystal for my art like whatever color they in for crystal so i have to prepare something like this like something bright and like all the way bright not even pastel or anything not even chrome like all the way bright so that is what I have to watch out for is neon. <laughs> neon uh brewing in the background right now. Mm. Cindy had to uh, make a couple of purchases just because we're running out of neon. She had to spend like three hundred thousand dollars last week. It's so neon uh very, very big. It's going to be very, very big. And uh I don't remember what Srosky say about the trend this year. Mm. They say last year's a trend with llama, but I don't know. I don't know who they source is. I don't know how they research that, but I love llama. Um, thank you, thank you. Uh, freaking ignorant. Thank you. What's the so nail team? Uh, you are doing so. The nail team that I am doing today is lava lamp. But it's a little different because this version of lava lamp, I don't have the body of the lamp. It's what's inside the lamp that I have on the entire nail. So my entire hand is going to be like this. So I, um, it's like a test run it to see how people react to that. I'm hoping the, uh, people go crazy for it. But yeah, that's the look that I go for today. Neon, what's everywhere in Atlanta apparel mod? Oh, I knew it. What can I do with neon? Um, Valentine is pink. Okay, after Valentine is March season. So, of course, I have to start out. Um, I have to start March design all the way. Uh, in February. Um, 
So when February comes, I'm going to start March Design. It's going to be so bright. It's going to blind you. So March is a neon month. At least that's what I'm preparing to anyway. Uh, I guess a lot of cartoons, like Powerpuff Girl, Pokemon, things like that, things that require unnatural colors. A lot of cartoon, but then that's no need to be uh, shading or anything like that. But anyway, so um, my next one is either going to be the Cupid or my favorite. I love this so much. It's so romantic. Oh, I'm going to save it for last, actually. Maybe um, maybe I do this, 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 and then this last. Yeah. I usually save the best for last. All right. Bye-bye, everyone. I will see you later.